What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, the Ring Magazine once again strikes again. Misleading the fans that they have left. Misleading the sport of boxing. The Ring Magazine used to be the Bible of boxing. ESPN is the worldwide leader in sports. They drop a pound for pound list. And on the pound for pound list, they have two division world champion, former unified lightweight world champion, now the reigning WBO Julian Welterweight world champion, superstar boxer. Tiafimo Lopez, who is 19 wins, one loss, no draws, 13 wins by way of knockout, 25 years of age, 5 foot 8 with a 68 inch arm reach. They have Tiafimo Lopez, and they announced that he, and ESPN announced that Tiafimo Lopez finally cracks the top 10 pound for pound list. So ESPN is reporting this and Ring Magazine. And at number nine, they have two-time Olympic gold medalist, three-division world champion, former unified lightweight world champion. Key, former unified lightweight world champion. Hold on to that. Ukrainian superstar boxer, Vasily Hitek Lomachenko. Vasily Lomachenko is 17 wins, three losses, no draws. 11 wins by way of knockout. He is 35 years of age, five foot six with a 66 inch arm reach. With that said, they have Lomachenko at number nine, coming off of a loss to undefeated, undisputed, lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, Devin the Dream Haney. Undisputed and the Ring Magazine champion, the lineal champion at lightweight, 135. He just beat him May 20th, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile, MGM Grand Garden Arena. Devin Haney just beat Lomachenko, unanimous decision. Devin Haney is, I believe, number seven on this list. The problem is Tiafimo Lopez, he already beat Vasil Lomachenko October of 2020. Unanimous decision. Dethroned him as the unified champion. Beat him handily. Some may say he even beat Lomachenko even easier than Devin Haney did. I thought there was a lot of similarities to the way Teofimo Lopez beat Vasil Lomachenko to the way Devin Haney beat Vasil Lomachenko. Teofimo Lopez won the first seven rounds. I thought Devin Haney won the first seven rounds. At least six out of seven. Teofimo lost eight, nine, 10, and 11. Changed the style, made an unnecessary adjustment, and Lomachenko had great moments in those rounds. And it almost looked like Lomachenko was on the verge of stopping Tiafimo Lopez. In the 10th round of Devin Haney's fight with Lomachenko, same thing. That was like the, the 10th and 11th round was the best rounds for Lomachenko against um, Tiafimo, uh, Devin Haney. So very similar. But then Tiafimo Lopez dominated the 12th round and Devin Haney dominated the 12th round against Lomachenko. So a lot of similarities, as you can see, right? And they both beat Vasil Lomachenko. Then Teofimo Lopez, most recently, dominated and defeated the former undefeated, undisputed Julian Welterweight world champion, British superstar boxer, Josh Taylor. Dominating fashion, he beat Josh Taylor in dominating fashion. Not even close. Absolutely dominated Josh Taylor. Not even close, right? I thought the first five rounds was close, six rounds. I even gave a courtesy round to Josh Taylor in round seven. But that's it. Teofimo Lopez, he dominated this fight. The undefeated, undisputed Julian Welterweight who was considered the best Julian Welterweight in the world. He didn't just, uh, Josh Taylor didn't just, you know, um, he didn't just win those titles, but he beat Regis Progray, Victor Postal, 
Jose Ramirez, and Ivan Baranchek. Separate himself as the best 140 pounder in the world. Tiafimo Lopez moves up. Two tuna fights, Sandor Martin and another fighter he fought, and then he dominated Josh Taylor. And he had lackluster performance against Sandor Martin. Dominated Josh Taylor. And they have Lomachenko coming off a loss. A terrible performance against Jermaine Ortiz. He beat Richard Comey and Nakatani, but he lost to Tiafimo Lopez before that. They have Lomachenko at number nine over Tiafimo Lopez. Tiafimo Lopez beat Lomachenko. Now, there was tons of excuses as to why Lomachenko lost his second fight as a professional when he lost to uh, Orlando Salido. Everybody had excuses, and they said, well, that was because... Orlando Salido was a rough and rugged. Uh, Lomachenko wasn't used to the pro rankings and the pro style. Uh, so he had to get adjusted. And that's why Orlando Salido won the fight. Well, what was the excuse for Teofimo Lopez? Oh, that's right. He had a shoulder injury. Then he loses to Devin Haney. Similar fashion. Inaccurate, squaring up, sloppy with his punches. Inaccurate, and he lost. And how could he possibly be on this list of top 10 pound-for-pound -pound fighters over, over three-time junior middleweight, now undisputed junior middleweight, world champion superstar boxer, Jamel Lyons only Charlo. Jamel Charles, 35 wins, one loss, one draw. 19 wins by way of knockout. 32 years of age. 5 foot 11 and a half with a 73 and a half inch arm reach. He's the undisputed junior middleweight, 154 pounder. The, the one loss that he has to Tony Harrison, he came back with a vengeance and knocked Tony Harrison out. The one draw he has on his record to, with Brian Castano in the undisputed match, he came back and knocked Brian Castano out. How could he possibly be not even top 10, but Lomachenko with three losses and a loss to the guy that's at number 10 and a, and a loss to the guy that's at number seven? How could he still be on this list? He's not a world champion. In the biggest fights of his career, he lost. Outside of the becoming a world champion for the first time against Mr. Gary Russell Jr. early in his career. When he stepped up in the unification bout against Tiafimo Lopez, he lost. When he stepped up for Undisputed against Devin Haney, he lost. When he tried to make history in the second fight as a professional against Orlando Salido, he lost. He beats guys that he clearly has an athletic advantage over, and he's just a better boxer than and even in those fights, like the Jermaine Ortiz fight, he was losing. You can make a case that should have been a draw or he lost. And then you have him beating Richard Comey, fine. Nakatani, fine. What big names has he dominated? Even when he fought Jorge Linares, he got a stoppage, but he got dropped and faced adversity in that fight. So why is he on the pound for pound list? As if he just dominates because he had a stretch of four fights at one point in time where he was being called Nomas Chenko, where his opponents was quitting on a stool. Who was those opponents outside of Guillermo Riganiya? Who moved up like three weight classes to fight him? This is the biased politics and nonsense in the sport of boxing that needs to be done away with. Point blank and period. This is what hurts. How could Teofimo Lopez be behind Lomachenko on the pound for pound list? And how can Jamel Charlo not even be on the list at all? And Lomachenko is at number nine. They watered down the ring magazine, which was a staple in the sport of boxing. The colorful belt that people identified in the Rocky movies and things of that nature. They watered it down. 
They destroyed it over, over personal preference bias. This is supposed to be the Bible of boxing, the ring magazine. It's supposed to represent lineal shit. And because you just like Lomachenko, you keep him on the list, coming off of a loss, over Jamel Charlos, the undisputed champion, over Tiafimo Lopez, who beat him, and is a two-division champion? Terrible. Disgusting. Politics. And it needs to be corrected. And that's all I got for y'all, man. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire L. D B C shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like your shitty videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.